Tina or just plain dirty? That's my thought on this. I've had this watch for two years now, and this was at the height of the whole bronze craze. Uh, just about every brand were producing bronze watches, um, if not directly themselves, but through their subsidiaries, um, such as uh, Rolex with Tudor. I was kind of, I've never been a big fan of bronze watches or any other watch material apart from stainless steel I do I do like titanium because of what it what it gives you it gives you the lightness and the strength but other um, like um, DLC coated and uh, bronze and stuff not really my thing I just prefer a standard stainless steel watch um, or a titanium one um, but I was I was thought of I saw a lot of pictures of bronze watches now majority of people when they they bought their bronze and one of the first thing they did is they did the force patina thing they wanted to just make sure it's got this patina that they all wanted to rave about and uh, then stick it on Instagram. So they were forcing it by one of the most popular ways is I think is putting it in a bag with a, a boiled egg and then leaving it for a few hours and then it, the patina is forced onto it. And then there's some chemicals you can use and so on, but I didn't want to go down that road. I, I, I To me, honestly, it, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. P people were saying, it gives their watch its own uh, look and feel to it because their patina is this and that. But you wouldn't take a sandpaper to your watch or, or a hammer to your watch to give it scratches and say, oh, well, I wanted to make it personal to myself. You just wear it and then the scratches dints will happen by themselves. If you wear a bronze watch like I did for this one, the patina will happen for itself. But like everything, I think people are in too much of a rush for... For things they they want everything now 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 so i was wearing this uh now and then uh i was looking for a wa watch and um i saw this one uh i think i paid just under 300 dollars for this watch way back then um you can still buy this watch but it's um i think it's 499 dollars now uh and i think they're out of stock but i'm not sure last time i looked on the website it was 499 dollars which is an outrageous amount of money for this watch. It's a nice watch, but a watch with a £35 or $35 NH35 movement in there, yeah, that's, that's, that's steep. Uh, so I, I luckily bought it when it wasn't so expensive. And the reason I bought this one, one was I like the actual compressor style case that they made of it. Um, it it's nice. I like these kind of watches. I've got a JLC with a, with a compressor. And uh, for the price, I thought, yeah, why not? It's a bronze one. I can see what all the fuss is about. And also, I like the watch itself. So I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to go through the whole uh, forced patina thing. I just wanted to wear it. And this is what it looks like after two years of wear. Now, the strap is not the original strap. The, actually, the original strap is really nice, um, but I can't find it. I took it off and put it on, on another watch. And um, I, I think this strap actually looks better on this watch now with the the patina uh, it kind of goes with it so uh, I've been wearing it on this strap uh, but on and off I wasn't wearing it as a regular everyday watch for the past two years it was just something I was wearing now and then and um, I'm I'm a bit surprised it didn't go the green that some of these bronze watches do now I don't know if that's because it's been they use the force patina on there and then it goes this weird colored green which is more of like a moldy color it looks more like um but then it could also be the difference in uh, material the bronze in this could be a lower grade material uh, and those could be a higher grade one which would one patina differently so this is what it looks like and yeah i I'm not too impressed with it, to be honest. It just looks, to me, dirty. I don't get the whole patina thing. It really doesn't doesn't do it for me. Um, I when I first got it, it was it it was a bit of a sort of a goldy color to it, and um, now it's just like a a dirty, unwashed watch. And the other thing is, it looks really strange because if you look at the hands and the dial, they're brand new, but then you have the case, which looks like it's what 30 years old um i suppose maybe with some dints and scratches on there there's not actually dints and scratches on this i um i, I kind of I, most of my watches don't get scratched so easily because I, I do take care of my watches even though if it's a, a cheap watch i still wear it with um with care 
but it just looks odd. This is the thing I found with the false patina watches. They got a brand new watch, stuck it in a bag, painted it with whatever acid or whatever they wanted to do with it. And yeah, it came up with all this patina and stuff. But then you've got a dial which looks brand new and it just looks completely off. They didn't even use the faux patina on, on the uh, the loom on this either. And the hands are really bright and shiny. It just doesn't go, does, just doesn't go with the watch. But those are my thoughts on bronze watches. Um, I'm not going to be buying another one. Uh, I'm quite glad I didn't spend thousands and thousands of pounds. Now, I think a lot of people did actually uh, buy these watches when they first came out, the Tudors and some of the Panerai's um, as investments there, they were speculating on the market thinking, oh, the prices will go up and I can resell it for some stupid amount of money. But I don't think that actually happened. I, am, I think bronze watches now are becoming fairly cheap. I think the, the whole fad has sort of worn off. People have sort of um, worn them and they've thought, okay, it just looks dirty, I think. And that's what the impression, like, like I said, it looks to me just like a dirty watch. And it's not very impressive at all. But let me know what you guys think about bronze watches. Uh, do you like the whole uh, patina? Or do you call it patina? Or do you call it dirty? Uh, do you have a bronze watch? Do you force patina it? Or did you just do what I did and, and wear it as an everyday watch and just let it, uh, let it happen what uh, was going to happen naturally? But thanks for watching.